get to see the good things in life, even though it's a family. Mm. Wait, did you start it already? Yeah, just started. Okay. I mean, probably Winston's life for me is like, you know, it's like, because it's, it's fuzzy. Yeah. For real, for real. Everything is not going to be all peaches and cream, so you, know, you got to just go day by day. I have to go, yeah, I'll, I'll probably kill myself at that point. <laughs> no, for real. Guys, try to be as loud as possible so we can all. Sorry. Okay. Project. What do you think? What do you think? Do you, would you rather kill yourself or see the best things? I think I just want to see the best things. Like what? Okay, you see the best in that total thing? That situation. Yeah. And also, because like all other countries, even if you escape that country, all other countries are the same. So everywhere you go is the same. What's the point? Everything I know is just going I think he was expecting like Julia to betray him yeah. more than mm-hmm. O'Brien betraying him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, they don't expect it, and yeah, at this point, yeah, they probably just gonna die. Yeah, they most likely don't wait. I, I don't know. Based off how like big the book is, I don't think they gonna die. But they, they probably. I think they are gonna die. I mean, unless someone rests the other one yeah. out, and. Is from chapter seven saying that Julia, um, that Winston had a dream of Julia betraying him. So, yeah, <coughs> you think that she's gonna betray him? I mean, he bet- technically kind of betrayed her because he didn't do anything to yeah. the police. I mean, I wouldn't have did anything either, so they started <laughs> doing it to me. What? Oh, she could clean handle her. <laughs> Oh, so oh. he was he was just doing the brotherhood thing to like get them caught basically. Uh, that hasn't been so technically O'Brien hasn't really come back yet. It's Sharrington who definitely mm. betrayed them. Oh, okay. But yeah, that's what I was will thinking. O'Brien come back in the third act? Yeah, I was thinking like he was like looking like moving weird because you feel me like the way he was asking like like he was telling them like the questions and stuff like that like you feel me like. Are you already like to do certain things and stuff like that? Yeah. But how, the other thing is like, how did he became part of the inner party? Exactly, does, if he does, was in the same part as Swinston, so yeah, that's so, why I think he was he, he like sneaky or like a probably like a fed, like, like that's all I'm saying, undercover yeah. type. Because he's to someone become a part of the inner party, like you had to have some part, some sort of power. Yeah. So um, either he got that power by writing out. Um, Winston, or he did something else. He killed someone. Okay. Um, how 
would you have reacted to that? That was fun. That happened towards the end of the conversation, where it's like, are you willing to separate? Oh. Mm. And then Julia instantly said I mean, no. I mean. And then Winston took his time to answer no. I probably would have changed my mind then. <laughs> if he's not feeling the same way as me, what? I'm changing my mind. I'm ready to. Because yeah. um, I think he asked the question. Um, I think O'Brien had asked him if they would like, if they see their stuff like spread, like, like yeah. Are like you separating. willing to separate? Are y'all willing to separate? And she was like, yeah, off the bat. And he was like, well, no, she said no instead. Oh, she said yeah. She said no. Basically, like she wanted to stay with him, and he was like, he took time to answer. So I'm like, if I was Julia, I changed my mind. <laughs> I'm not gonna be with you and me. That I don't know either, because I had to think about that. Either a relationship for your life? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't even say, I wouldn't have said no. I would say <laughs> yeah. So, but if he would have took time, if she would have took time to answer, then I would have changed my mind. Wait, is, is Winston in love? I probably think not. He is. I think he is. I don't think he isn't. I think he's probably using her or something. Just for fun? Yeah, just for fun, maybe. He's such a bad person, though. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know. If he was in love, then it's <laughs> obvious to say yes immediately. But I don't know. I, I think he's just, yeah, he's using me. Yeah. Keep talking about that, Liz. Why is he such a bad person? What he did to his mom and his sister. Ooh. Um, Wait, can you elaborate? I don't remember what happened. Um, basically, I think he was doing like a little like flashback to like, I think he was sleeping. Nope. Yeah, it was a dream. He was, yeah, he he was, was a call your dream. And um, I think, like, how they get, like, the chocolate ration, he was being greedy, and he didn't want to share it with his, like, mom and his sister. Oh, did he turn him into the thought police or something like that? I don't think he did, because in the end, like, when he, I think he ran away. And he, like, he came back with both of his mom and his sister missing. So I don't think he really did turn them in. But like at the same time, he's a little bit greedy and selfish, so he's not a good person. So he ratted him out. Maybe that's how you get status within the party. You show your loyalty by ratting out the people that you love. And then that's how you get the power to go within the inner party. And once within the inner party, you want obviously more power. And that's how it starts with the, um, the government. And maybe. That low-key makes sense. I mean, you can see, like, you can low-key, like, relate to what you're saying to, like, O'Brien's situation to where he, like, well, technically, like, he said, we haven't found out if O'Brien ratted them out, like, you feel me, or made them get caught, but it's, like, it low-key it makes low key, sense. Yeah. So, like, you could low-key relate to what you're saying, like, turning people that you, like, mess with or, like, you love to the thought police to gain power to get higher in the government. But the other thing is, like, you think that the, the brotherhood is real? Because they might just be using that to, like, so they can have someone to hate on. Everyone's just to hate on one group. On one group. On one group. I mean, that's like you, like, still in the air. Like, we probably, I thought like we got to get deeper into the book to probably figure yeah. that out. Yeah. Especially what's going on right now. Like, with them being caught, so it's like, Bird sing, crow sing, party does not sing. What is this one? The quote. Oh, say about life. Oh. Yeah, the say about life. Talked about that yesterday. I talked about yeah. it briefly yesterday. Do you guys remember that? At I all? wasn't here yesterday. Yeah. Okay, so. All right. So the quote from the one from the book is: uh, This is right before they get caught. Yeah. Um, they are. He's watching the lady sing. You remember that at all? all right. But so he's watching one of the proles outside sing. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, he says this. He says, birds sing, proles sing, the party doesn't sing. All right. So when do people usually sing? When they're happy. When they're happy. Yeah, when they're happy. All right. So if the birds are singing, the proles are singing, and nobody in the party ever sings, that mean the people in the party is really not happy with their lives, basically. Yeah. Uh, but, the but 
But what are those people in the what are the people in the party always after? Or, or try to protect. What's up? Money and power. Yeah, they're after power. All right. So these people are always after power or fighting for it. Kind of shows that they're not happy. But the proles who don't have nothing. Yeah. Just happy regardless of living, basically. So what can that say about life? That like probably no matter if you have nothing, you feel me? Probably just it's better to have nothing than have something that's complicated basically. Right? But like the other that. thing is like in order to be happy you have to be poor. No, what I feel like is um if you have power you're not really happy. You feel satisfied. like you would just want more and then you're never satisfied. And if you don't have like power then you're like very humble, then you're happy with whatever you want. Maybe. What is considered as power? Maybe controlling, Control. yeah, controlling Control. somebody. Status? Yeah, status. status, yeah, maybe like, if like, you're famous or something like that, like everybody around you knows you, and you have the power to control or like to manipulate somebody to do whatever you want, I think you. Based off your status base. Yeah. Alright, and then, Think about it this way. Yeah, this is too big right now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, what could uh, I feel like this could also be a uh, saying something about people's habits of always wanting stuff? Mm -hmm. Greed. Yeah, on greed. Oh, on greed. Yeah. I mean, probably the. Uh, probably like the more you want, the more you like. Then you want more. All right. Have you guys ever gotten something that you really, really wanted? Yeah. Then as soon as you got it, you wanted something so, else. Yeah. yeah. All right. So it's like, it's more like the more you have, sometimes like you're never satisfied. Yeah. You always want what's next. Yeah. It's like getting a, a game and then you wanted the video games, the accessories, the. Yeah. So basically, like, if you have, like, if you have nothing, you're humble. But like, if the more you get, the more you want, basically. But does that happen to everyone? Or I feel like it's the, probably depending on the person, but it's also depending on the thing you get too. But then I also think they need a little self control as well. Yeah. Hockey games are self control. I don't know. I think you just have to like. Something like that, like the skill you need to learn. Uh, who knows? I don't know. I think I'm gonna do it. I don't know. I think I'm gonna do it. I don't know. I think I'm gonna do it. I don't know. I think I'm gonna do it. I don't know. I think I'm gonna to me, like, orchestrate the whole All right, thing. so we can definitely say Sharrington had something to do with it because he, like, spoke to them at the as they were getting caught, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. So, what pop, What has O'Brien and Sharrington both done that might possibly show that they are in cahoots? If, if this is part of the book, I don't know. All right. Uh... Can I find it? I know that they work for they're loyal. Okay, but they they it's like a wait. Small... Didn't they both like pose to being in brotherhood in the brotherhood group or no? Uh, well, because where are we? Uh, if you go, anybody got the book over there? All right. Uh, let's see. They opened the book. Um, so Sharrington and O'Brien were both able to win the trust of Winston mm. in a very similar manner. Yeah. Do you remember what they said to him? Or what they... Um, they, they, did they have like the same views of the government? Was that like that? No, it was something else than that. Was it the was, bad thing of the song? Or the, something the like poem. The, yeah. the rhyme. Mm. They both said the rhyme. The... I know the rhyme. Yeah, Bells of St. Clements yeah. or whatever the rhyme is. They both said the rhyme. So is that a clue? 
to say that they are possibly working together, both O'Brien and Charrington? Yeah, because they probably, like, try to use the same strategy, like, to, like, yeah, we're, like, close, you feel me, to, like, just back door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's because, I mean, they wouldn't put that character in there for nothing. He's coming back in the third act. Yeah. He's coming back strong. All right? Mm. The, the only thing now is, like, how is Winston going to get punished? Yeah. All right. All right. So let, let's think about section two. All right. What has Winston shown fear of? Getting damaged or getting disintegrated? Well, yeah, well, we can say like everybody's afraid of death, but uh, like, what specific thing is he afraid of? How? Right? He wasn't afraid of the bombs, right? He's experienced that. Not really a big deal to him, it seems. But something happened during one of the meetups between him and Julia that he was, uh, ex got really scared. Um. Rats. Remember that? Oh. Remember how he freaked out? Mm. All right. Oh, him. <laughs> Wait, so that's what he was afraid of? The rats? Oh, that is one of his fears, oh. is rats. Is it like a phobia, or is it like put, connected to his past? Uh, I think it's more of like a phobia, because he, was, he expressed, like, he got scared, but he didn't actually even see the rat. Mm. He just heard Julia say that there was a rat, and she kind of like shoot it away, mm. and he freaked out, just yeah. like knowing that it was around him. All right. So that's what you was trying to connect to, like. Wait, where were you connecting that to again? Oh, uh, we're How talking about fears. How oh. he's gonna get tortured? Yeah. So you think that he's gonna put the room full of rats? Room full of rats. <laughs> oh, maybe. Yeah. But like those rats eat him up. Really. Uh, Wait, did they know that he was afraid of rats? Uh, I'm not sure, but like, of course, it has to be studied because they're just telegrams, and mm. they obviously see like what, how he's acting, how he's, what's his fears. They're obviously gonna see that he. He's afraid of rats. Mm. Who's afraid of rats? Me. <laughs> Are you guys afraid of rats? Uh, I know. No. no. I think like I guess living in the like so I used to like work in like Skid Row. It was like I would like I was working with homeless people. Yeah. And I would see like rats all the time. And it's like after a while you just kinda get used to them. You're like, oh that's a big one. <laughs> and then, the only thing is that, like it's the smell that gets me. The smell. The smell of a dead rat. It's horrible. Uh, I don't think it's pleasant. <laughs> I don't think anything that is pleasant. Yeah. As well as anything that is pleasant. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if you were to talk about this with, like, if you were trying to get somebody to read the book, is there any, like, specific reason or a specific thing you would tell them about to try to get them interested? Whether it's happened in this section or somewhere else, is there anything about that you think might be interesting that other people might find interesting and didn't know? There's a lot of as aspects to it, like in real life. Okay. It's just, uh, I would say, like, imagine this book was in a pla was placed in North Korea. It's, it's the same thing like that. Okay. Yeah, because I don't know what she was saying. It's like everything's like televised, like real life. So, like, and with them going against, like, trying to get, going against the government while being watched, it's like, that's, that's a big thing. Yeah, you remember when the sub came in and she gave that little yeah. story? Yeah. yeah. Right. So, uh, or when I told you guys, like, did I tell, oh, I didn't tell you guys. All right, so, uh, one of the diary entries, uh, where it's talking about, uh, somebody's knocking on your door, uh, and you go and get a makeshift weapon. So something like that similarly happened to me. Uh, one morning, I woke up to a banging on my door. When I opened the door, there was a gun drawn on me. Uh, it was Homeland Security. So my roommate, uh, he was running a business and he was selling like counterfeit goods for like cell phones, stuff yeah, like that. Okay. And uh, so they had the whole, so later I found out they had my whole house surveilled for like a good couple of months. And like, like people were watching. Yeah, Homeland Security. Well, they were they were they were in 
they were watching me because they were going after my roommate. Yeah, for and they needed you. Like and yeah, I just happened to be there. Party, and, yeah. uh, so what happened? I didn't get arrested or anything. My roommate did because they had no evidence to show that I was a part of the his operation. Okay. But uh, were you? That wasn't. <laughs> <how it was. laughs> I mean, he wouldn't tell us if he was. Yeah. <laughs> and I told you about other stuff. I told you I committed voter fraud. Right? Okay. Yeah. But, uh, so, and that was like something I didn't know that was happening for a while. Uh, and so the reason, so they let me go because like they had no evidence against me. But uh, when they presented the case to my roommate, they showed like all these photos of both of us coming in and out of our house and random people that would come in to like get their phone fixed. They would show that. Yeah. Yeah, and so it's kind of like, it's weird. It's yeah. like, you know, so, that's but, a, that's illegal. what's up? I'm, uh, I'm assuming not. <laughs> I don't really. I yeah. had no idea. I had no idea. What's up, Joe? Looking back now, you think you could like, you think the police did something to, like, you could figure out that you were doing a watch? Um, I don't know. Cause like, I honestly had no clue about it happening. So, um, if it's parked far enough, like, uh, like they had pictures of me going into my car. Okay, so, so, wait, wait, did you? Were they from, like, far away? Or... Well, I mean, they have, like, a, you got a lens on it can go pretty yeah. far, and you can't really tell. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, like, based off the picture, like, you didn't, like, remember anything, like, seeing Yeah, it was just, like, a regular day to me, and, like, because yeah. I lived across the street from a school mm. at the time. And there were always cars parked along the way on the side street because there were like parents coming in and out picking up their kids. Like, like you wouldn't notice those things. So, yeah, it is kind of crazy. Like, yeah. So your roommate got how long? No, he actually he uh, he became an informant for him. And they just was just like, oh, like snitch. <laughs> snitch. I don't know, but like uh, I don't. It was only like you. I think he was like on the, maybe parole for like six months. He ended up uh, he ended up losing his job at the casino we worked at because if you work at a casino, you can't have like any sort of criminal record. Yeah. At all, especially like anything to do with counterfeit kind of, like, goods or like money, anything that had to might have to do with money laundering. Yeah. All right. When you clean money, and since he worked at a casino, you it's not yeah it's not allowed. Yeah. Damn. I know, it's kind of weird. But, yeah, no, that was definitely probably, like, the scariest minute of my life. Like, opening that door. Oh, my God. Wait, so they, they open, you opened the door, and they put the gun out, and then... The gun uh, was they, already, they, yeah, I opened the door, was there. It was, like, already pointed. You didn't the look through the people? Oh What's up? No, I don't know. Just, like, I didn't think anything of it. I'm like... Uh, what? <laughs> Anybody knocking at my door in the middle of the night, you got it. Was, it was 6.30 a.m. That's what I'm saying. Let's uh, go. Why would they go to the you're not aware. Did they, they tell you uh, a warrant? Anything? Oh yeah, yeah, no. There was a guy next to him that had the warrant. Was like holding it up. Uh, oh, yeah. was, like, and did they like, like, ambush like we're Homeland Security. I'm officer such and such. We have a warrant to search the premises. But there was a gun right next to the guy. As he said. <laughs> yeah. He had no idea the gun. I was like, and I was just like in total like shock. I'm like, all right, you guys want some coffee? Did the gun wake you up? Yeah, yeah, it was like it was like an instant adrenaline rush. It was like I hope none of you guys ever have to experience anything oh, like that. But, the government would do that. Yeah, right. and I guess like they did it all. I would imagine they did it all legally because like my friend got like representation and like it, that's how it got all worked out. So. What do you think of my roommate after that? I mean, I felt bad for him because like uh, y'all still roommates? What's up? Y'all still roommates? No, no, this happened in Philadelphia when I lived oh. there. Um, uh, but yeah, we still talk to every once in a while. Uh, but I was worried for him cause he was like, uh, he had just gotten his citizenship and he was worried that it might affect that. If he was afraid that might take it away in some, in some way. Did it? No, he still got it? Yeah, he still got it. Yeah, he's still here. I mean, if he's in the form, he most likely still got it. <laughs> yeah. They using him. Yeah. For sure. But yes, there are a lot of parallels from the book in real life. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So, have you guys thought about the second section compared to the first section? I feel like it's more action packed, like more stuff is going on. Yeah. We want to hear like a lot less of that world building. Yeah. All right. In the beginning, it was more of like getting to know everything and like you feel me how everything would, like works and like who everybody was. Like for me, now it's like okay, we see that you actually have a 
relationship with Julia, mm-hmm. like you feel me and stuff like that. You guys should see the crimes mm-hmm. yeah. happening. Oh yeah. And, like how they get away with it sometimes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, how no. sometimes. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'm gonna stop it. I think that's good for my professor.